For anyone looking to set up an e-commerce store in 2024 and beyond, there are more than a few options that you can now choose from. You've probably already seen these sorts of videos before, WooCommerce vs Shopify, Shopify vs BigCommerce, and so on and so forth. Well, this video is going to be a little bit different than those ones because there's a new player on the block. WooExpress is a fully hosted and feature-rich version of WooCommerce, which is positioning itself in direct competition with Shopify. Just to get you all up to speed, WooCommerce has traditionally been the DIY e-commerce platform. You need to set up your domain and hosting, and you need to create a WordPress website, then you can install the WooCommerce plugin. Whereas Shopify has always been centrally hosted and run by the company. In other words, they're a SaaS business offering their software as a service. Having to set up and manage all of the backend aspects of a website is a double-edged sword. On one end, you have all the necessary control to do whatever you want, whenever you need to, and you own your own data too. But you also have to manage and potentially pay for all of these services separately. Plus, you need to customize your website more because there are many more options, but that requires you to do a lot more work to make them work for you. All of this can be a pain if all you want to do is just start selling your products from day one. Woo Express looks like they're trying to give users the best of both worlds. They manage all of the backend hosting while giving you a streamlined setup process akin to Shopify's. And even better, you can still install and use any of the thousands of third-party plugins available on WooCommerce right now. These can help you to modify anything within your store and streamline the e-commerce process for you. In fact, my company, Barn2, has developed over 20 different WooCommerce plugins, which you can check out on our website, which I've linked below in the description if you're interested. But no matter what you need, there's probably a plugin for it somewhere on the market, something that just can't really be said about Shopify. Now let's talk about pricing. Both Woo Express and Shopify have similar pricing options, and I don't think that's by mistake, as they're competing directly for market share. At the moment, there's a startup deal that's just $1 to $3 for your first three months on each platform, and they both offer a free trial for those of you who want to just play around and see which one you like better without any commitment. I will note that Shopify really, really wants their users to use their proprietary Shopify payments option. They slap huge fees onto third-party payment providers like Stripe, and there are no such biased fees in WooCommerce. You could use any payment provider you like with no penalty. Now that's enough talking, let's finally dive in and see what the setup process is like on each platform. I'll start with Woo Express, then move on to Shopify. My goal here is to give you guys an idea of what to expect when you set up your very first store on either platform. So let's dive in. We're going to start at the very beginning. You're going to go to woo.com slash express, and then you're going to click on this try it for free button here. You can describe yourself to Woo so they can better cater to your needs. I'm going to say I'm just starting my business and I'm going to give my store a name. I'm going to call it Barn2 Merch. We're in clothing and accessories, and let's be located in the US. So we can click this button to try it out for free. If you do pay for a plan, these are all of the add-ons that you will get with Woo Express, as I have discussed already. Now I'm just going to enter some personal details and then skip ahead to the next step. And once you've logged in or created a profile, you'll see your information here. We can approve this. And now they're going to create your store from scratch. So they're going to add a whole bunch of features and create some example pages, which you're going to have to edit yourself if you want to fill out the entire store. But I'm just going to show you the basic foundations of how you can get it set up. All right, that's all finished. We've loaded into the page where we can start to set up and customize our store. So we have a step-by-step -step list. There are five steps in total. Let's click on the first one. Here you can use the power of AI to automatically design a storefront for you, or you can choose a different theme from here. There are free ones, and of course there are paid ones if you click on browse all themes. Now let's go to number two and we'll figure out how to add products. Here we're gonna add a physical product. Now they've simplified the add product screen for you, so it's a little bit easier to navigate. So you can type the name of the product in here and you can write the summary of the product here as well. And you can add a list price. And if you add a sale price, it will appear on sale straight away. So that's up to you to add now or later on. 
You can add more details here. I can skip that also. And now we're going to choose some images from our computer. So I've just uploaded two images and I'm going to choose one as my first image here. So here we have the cover image and the second image. We can also add PDFs or PNGs or other types of documents as well. That's entirely optional. And for standard products, that's all you need to get going straight away. Later on, you can go into detail with things like shipping, shipping dimensions and shipping details, as well as the inventory, how much you have in stock, pricing details, sale prices, and how it's going to be categorized within your store. For example, I could put it in the uncategorized here, and I could create a new brand if I needed to. Then I can also add tags such as hoodie, and I can even add attributes such as the color, and I can add gray, for example. And if you add more attributes and more variations, then it will be a variable product. Then just click update. Now go back to my home here at the top and continue down the list. And you can see number three is to set up Woo payments. This is something everyone's going to have to do on their own, or you can set up other types of payment systems as well with WooCommerce, as I mentioned. You can add your tax rates by setting your store location, address, and continuing here. And finally, you can add your own domain, which you may have purchased separately already, or you can buy a domain from here. And you can see the prices over here. All right, and go back to your home. And of course, there are many more tasks that you need to tick off in order to finish setting up your store. And everything has to be legal in terms of taxes and sales. But this is the basic setup process now. You no longer have to go and go hunting for a domain and hosting and then set up WordPress and then install WooCommerce. It's a much more simplified process. And the themes are going to be a great way to get you up and off the ground and selling from the first day. So as you can see, we got up and running with our very first product in WooExpress without too much hassle. The same cannot really be said for the original WooCommerce experience, which requires a bunch of earlier steps that we totally got to skip by setting up WooExpress. Now let's see what it's like on Shopify. So just visit shopify.com and start their free trial. And again, let's say that we're just starting out and we're making an online store. And let's choose that the simplest version is that we have products that we make ourselves. And again, we'll be located in the US. So let's sign up with Google. And now it's creating our account and setting up our store for us. Now Shopify also has a step-by-step -step process. There are a few extra steps in their process though. So let's begin by adding our first product. Now this setup process is extremely similar, so I'm just gonna skim through this now. Scroll down to media and upload new images. And make sure you have the correct image as your main one. And then you can add even more as, as you like. Set up a price and you can choose to charge tax on this product. That will depend on your individual situation. And there are other things like the product category, product type, and tags and stuff over here. You can also change the status from active to draft at any time while you are working on the product. But for now, you can come up here to the top and save. So that was very simple. Now we go back to our setup guide here and we can add sharing details or I can skip this step and we can go to customization. And here you can choose a theme and customize it further to your liking. Dawn is our current theme, but we can customize it or change it. I won't spend too long here, but over here is the layout of your page and all of the different sections and subsections. And if you click on any of them here, you can actually edit what they say. And it'll update in real time here. You can also view how your store will look on a mobile device and on a full screen device as well. So you can save those changes. I'll definitely advise you to watch other types of videos about how to set up Shopify. This is just a quick overview of how quick and easy it is to get started. 
and to compare it to the ex experience on Woo Express. You can also add a custom domain, just like with WooCommerce. And then you need to go through some store settings like naming your store. Let's give it a name, Barn2 Merch, and save those details. You can also set shipping rates and you can set up payments. Now, like I said, Shopify Payments is going to highly encourage you to use their proprietary software, but there are other options. They just come with extra fees. Now, before you can launch your store, you need to place a test order, pick a plan and remove the store password. So those are the last three steps, just getting it live. So as you've seen, Woo Express has replicated Shopify's easy beginner setup system. So now we can really compare between them and choose a winner. I am biased in this topic because Barn2 is a WordPress company with over 20 WooCommerce plugins, but I still would choose Woo Express and recommend it for beginners and seasoned merchants. And I hope you'll understand why I feel that way. First of all, it's either the same price or slightly cheaper to get Woo over Shopify. As I mentioned, Shopify charges larger fees for using third-party payment providers. But depending on what plugins you install with WooCommerce, then that can bring the price up slightly as well. But speaking of plugins, you can integrate with thousands of different third-party plugins, both free and premium. So you really have the power to customize your store down the road. Meanwhile, the same can't be said about Shopify. You're locked into their app ecosystem and the amount of customization you can do with it is much more limited. So for anyone seeking an easy start and more customizability down the road, then Woo Express is the clear favorite. To see how barn plugins can assist you with online retail, check out this playlist here or visit our website. Everything is linked below in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.